Hello, I'm Philip Burton of sqlserver101.com and in this video we'll have a look at one of the common problems that you might get when trying to connect to SQL Server. One of the ways you can connect to SQL Server, in fact probably the most common way, is through SQL Server Management Studio. So the quickest way that I use when I've got it installed is to go to the start menu and type in SSMS. So whether it's version 17, 18 or any other version, it all connects to the same database, the same server. But which server? Well, it depends. You may have SQL Server, perhaps Developer Edition or Express Edition on your computer, in which case you might be connecting to the local database, which is either called localhost or a dot. Alternatively, you might be connecting to a server's default instance or a server's named instance, in which case you'll be using some form of this syntax and you'll be given those by your database administrator. So when we get the connector server, make sure it says database engine, use the right authentication. So this is security. So just because you've got SSMS installed on your computer doesn't mean you've got the right to log into a server. So you have to put in either Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication, which uses a username and password. Windows Authentication, which uses your default Windows username and password to get into Windows itself is the more usual way. So if I click Connect, this is what should happen. In the Object Explorer, we connect to our database, our server, and inside that we have various databases and so on. Now I'm going to make a couple of changes to my computer which will make logging in not so easy. So now let's open up SQL Server Management Studio and I'll click the same connect button that we've had before. And after about 20 seconds, an error message will appear. And this is a very common error message. In my Udemy courses, I probably get a message about how can I rectify this Fairly frequently, I would say. It's probably the most frequent question I get. So let's have a read of it. First of all, it's error number 40. And again, that's an error message that you could just remember the number 40 and go back to this video if you see it. So network related or instance specific error occurred. Okay, that doesn't really tell me anything. So the server was not found or was not accessible. So let's have a look and see if the server is not accessible. And there are two ways of doing this. The first is by going to your configuration manager. So whether it's going to your SQL Server 2008 or the way to 2019, you'll have a configuration manager. So if I click on it and say yes to making changes, then this dialog box appears. Now it looks a bit non-obvious what to do. So the first thing to check is, is SQL Server actually running? Now this would be done on whichever computer SQL Server is on, so the back end. So in work situations, it would probably be on a server. However, if you've got the developer edition, if you've got the express edition, you'll probably be installing it on your own computer. So let's go on to SQL Server Services and you'll see that we have got our SQL Server. So the name of the instance, well, it's the default instance, MS SQL Server, and you can see this start mode is automatic, but for some reason, it's not running. Now, we can also see this if we go into services. So this is part of the control panel. And if I open that up and go down to SQL Server, again, you'll see it's not running. So either way, the solution is to right and click on it and to go to start. And fingers crossed, you will see now it's running. Now the second problem it might be, let's go back to our error message. So our error message says, provider named pipes provider. Now there are three different ways of connecting to your SQL server. And if we expand the native client configuration and go into client protocols, you can see that they are shared memory, 
so they are literally in the same memory as your computer. TCP IP, that's the standard way of connecting to over the network and named pipes where you're saying I want to go to this very specific server and instance and you can see here it's disabled so let's enable it so having done the, those two changes let's connect again and now you can see it's connected very easily now a third thing it could be verify that the instance name is correct so you may just have a typographical error in your server or server instance. Now, one error could be that you have got the slash the wrong way around. It needs to be backwards facing. Now, there are plenty of other possibilities. For instance, it could be a firewall problem. It could be that you need an exception made for port 1433 in Windows Firewall or whatever firewall you're using, and potentially 1434 as well. But these sorts of problems are probably best left for your database administrator. So in this video, we've had a look at three common solutions to this common problem. So if you're having error number 40, a network related or instance specific error, then have a look at the configuration manager and have a look and see whether your SQL Server is in fact running. Have a look at the client protocols and see whether the relevant one is enabled and then actually check what you are connecting to and if you've got a typographical error then you might want to check that as well. Now if you want to learn more about SQL Server then hopefully you might want to check out my Udemy videos. We've got videos on TSQL, integration services, reporting services, database administration, and more. There are details in the description to this video, and you might be able to get it at a much better price than what you're seeing there. So thank you very much for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.